Well, first thoughts are obviously with his family and friends, but uh, I grew up sort of politically listening to John Cole and that uh, brilliant mind and that very distinctive voice. I think my strongest memory of, is of him in the 1992 election. I was working in central office as relatively junior bod, and he was this titan at the BBC, and everyone listened to and respected his word. Uh, and he was an extraordinary broadcaster with great insights, an incredibly distinctive voice, and I think uh, very powerful that he came from Northern Ireland and got right to the top of the BBC, right to the top of his profession, and stayed there for a very long time on his merits. And you mentioned his very distinctive voice. It didn't sound like other BBC reporters or presenters at the time, did he? No, he didn't. And there was the famous Private Eye column, uh, which uh, became almost as famous as the voice itself. But the content, what he said, he was insightful, he was smart, he understood politics, he understood people, he simplified for the punter at home what was really going on in the wild world of Westminster. And, uh, you know, for, for people like me who grew up listening to him and grew up having him explain to us the complicated events at Westminster, a massive influence and a huge loss. And do you think, finally, that um, although he was impartial, he was never dry or dull, was he? He was certainly never dull. He could be controversial, because in that job you have to make some calls sometimes, and those calls could upset right or upset left, and there's no doubt he did that from time to time. But actually he was, a, a, I always thought in my meetings with him, a, a, a kindly, decent and honourable man who cared about journalism, who cared about politics, who cared about what happened to our country.